So to keep it simple, there's hundreds, if not thousands of day trading tools that try to charge you an absurd amount of money for information that is already available for free online. In this video, I'll show you six free tools that will make you stop paying for these subscription. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So we're going to start with the first one, and this one will be Nasdaq.com. Come. It's a simple website, it's made by Nasdaq and there's just so much information for research, news, also some scanner. There's just a bunch of things that nobody ever looked because their marketing is terrible, but it's so good and it's better than so many paying tools. So as I mentioned, the website is nasdaq.com. Simple as it comes, what we're going to be really looking at is going to be symbol and let's just put anything that we would like. Let's say NVIDIA and then you're going to press enter and then there's going to be a couple options that you can go and you can have a look at. There's first the press release on the side. There's going to be also this big icon over here, which is going to be for market research. So let's start with the news. So news, you have press release, just going to click apply and you can see all the historical news on Nvidia. And these are going to be the official press release. These are not going to be the fluff piece or the news that are not important. Something that is really important is that you can go all the way back to 2007. So if you want to back this anything, you saw a big move on the Nvidia chart or Tesla chart. And you want to see what was the news on that specific day you can just use this website to go back in time and look at the news and do your research or your back test using historical news source for completely free by the way if you enjoyed the video so far don't forget to check out the links in the description i did link all the best tools for day trading included broker scanner charts and news feed these are not going to be included in this free stuff because these are going to be the only premium tools that I personally use. So let's get back to the video. So going back to the top of that page, you can go to news and insight. And over here, you can have different type of article. This are going to be your fluff piece or analyst, whatever people are talking about the stock. So this is going to be important if you want to just know what's the story behind the stock or sometimes it's important when a whole sector is moving. Going back to the top of that page, we're going to click over here to view and then it's going to give us more information. So we were in the news and analysis before. You have also analyst research. If ever you want to look at what is the current price target of the stock, this is how you would do it. Over here, if we go to the left again, there's going to be earnings. This is something I really like to look at. It's going to show when is the earning. It's going to be August 28th. It's going to tell you according to which source. And over here, it's going to also show you how did the stock perform on previous earnings. You have all the historical percentage beat. So you can understand why something moves so much because of earnings. All the information is there and it's actually really, really well published. So the next tool that we have is going to be a tool that looks like it was built in 1978. It looks horrible, but the information on it is actually super premium. And it's something that I haven't seen anywhere else on the internet when it comes to IPO. So this is a tool I generally just have a quick look and I look at what's happening in the IPO world. We can see over here that we have a lot of information just on the front page but what I really like to read is the IPO buzz. So this is what I click on and over here on this page, I'm able to really read everything that's going on about what is the current IPO, IPO sector. Is there one today that I wanna read more information about because I'm not sure what it involves. And over here, you can just click read more and you have a really good breakdown about what is happening and a whole lot of information. And also, if you just go look at IPO pricing, you can go last 12 months and you're going to be able to see all the IPO that happened in the last 12 months. So if you want to go do a back test, try to find an edge, see which one are performing well and not, this is how you would do it. So the next website that we have is going to be finviz.com. It's a more popular website. Most people are aware of it, but what I really like to do on this website using the free version is to use the scanner. I have a couple scanner or multiple scanner that I scan every night to see what's going on in the market. Did I miss something? Is there something happening on a big daily chart? And I'll show you quickly the scan that I use and how I go through them. So when you're on the website, finviz.com, 
First thing I do is I go to screener and I do have some saved screener. If you want to save your screener, it is completely free. You don't even need the pay version. And for that reason, I don't pay. So over here, I have day top gainer. This is going to be daily top gainer. Then I look at TA and then I just scroll and see what's happening. What's going on? Is there any chart interesting? I'm like, all right, this one is interesting. There's also this one. There's also maybe Mullen, Fubo, Lucid. You know, I look at what's going on in the market and then I put them into a watch list and I scroll through that watch list on a daily basis, normally in the morning or in the evening to see what's happening and what is the story. So I have multiple other scan is going to be daily top losers. So is there any chart that got really crushed today? You have FFIE, PDD and IQ. So I'll add them to a daily watch list and then I scroll them through my pre-market routine. Very simple tool to use and I really, really enjoy, especially that it's completely free. I found that it works best for everything that I need to do when it comes to scanning daily chart. So the next tool I have is called Trading Calendar. I'm not sure where I found it, but I'm pretty sure it's on Twitter. This is made apparently from an ex-prop trader that decided to build his own calendar. And it's really, really good when it comes to action trading and real economic event that's happening in the market. So I'll show you how I use it and I'll give you the link so you can also use it. Think it's one of the best tool out there that is completely free. So the website is tradingcalendar.com. Pretty simple, but what it has on it is really all the important event. And I'll give you a few examples as we go through the website. So we have a calendar. You can click on calendar full right over here and then you can click on the week this is what i do normally and then we can see over here that monday we had ffie we had a split this was marked on time and then you have ipo and it's going to tell you which ipo is happening after that you're going to have also other split spac then we had jackson hole and then we had this fed speak this morning this was all on the calendar can look at the past week, all the events are going to be there. So what is really hard when you're trading is that there's a lot of events and there's a lot of things happening at the same time. You have, you're watching five stock, then you have to look at what's the schedule for the day and so on and so forth. I know there's going to be some laptop guy out there that say, oh, you just need a laptop. These things don't matter. But when you're trading full time, these things matter. So overall, this calendar makes it super, super simple to just look at what is important, what is happening today, what I should be aware of, and it made me a lot of money. By the way, if you enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to check out the links in the description. I did link all the best tools for day trading, included broker, scanner, charts, and newsfeed. These are not gonna be included in this free stuff because these are gonna be the only premium tools that I personally use. So let's get back to the video. So the next tool that we have is called Earning Whispers. This is really important. You can also follow them on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, but they post about earnings. And if you go to the website, they have a really, really good and really clean schedule of earning. So when we go to the website, you can see, you can click on calendar and then you can select the day when there's earnings or the day that we currently are. Today, there's nothing really after the close because it was Friday. But if you go to something like Wednesday, it's gonna have a lot of earnings and it's gonna show you what is happening and also the time of the earnings. What is the expectation overall of this company? Same thing for all of these earnings. And then you can look at other dates and see which day are gonna be important in the market. So this is really how you actually look at earnings. You create a game plan and you're able to actually trade them or protect your portfolio sometime if you had position without having to break your head and look at a couple different websites. A lot of time in the past, what happened to me when it came to earnings is I knew which date I knew after hour, but I didn't know what time. So this was really accurate so far when it comes to time of the earnings. So really important if you're looking to trade them. So the next one that we have is dilution tracker. So I used to pay for that service for a couple years. And I stopped my subscription just because I realized that the free version just gave me too much information for me to justify paying for the service. I don't know if it's a good thing I make this video, but I'll show you how I use it generally super simple, but it's really a tool that can help you avoid disaster. So the way this website works is quite simple. You're just going to go over here and let's put a ticker GDC and it's gonna show you a bunch of information. The first one being the market cap, the net cash, also is the institutional ownership, country, which is really important. And also you have historical dilution over here. 
we can see that if you look at all of these date, it just show you over time how much their dilution, how many more shares are going to be available to trade versus when they just launch. Also, cash position is going to show you minus 1.5 month, burn rate, and so on and so forth. And we can see over here that even if you don't have this information, with that information, you can actually go to the SEC and just read what's really going on and check out the dates by yourself because it gives you access to literally everything. So you just need to click on the links that they give you to get all that information.